Okay, very excited today. Just got from uh, iPower a um, spin bud trimmer here for your medicinal uh, herbs. I'm gonna go ahead and test that out. I haven't seen an iPower tested yet. I've seen some others that were tested. Um, but I never knew how this thing actually works. When I saw people operating them on YouTube, I saw this thing going around and around and I thought it was the blades, but actually it's just some, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it, rubber, I would say it is, fingers that push the uh, organic material around over this um, mesh here, which protrudes like little fingers, I guess, uh, first time I've touched anything to this, but it would, whatever protrudes through like that, I guess in theory, would be hacked off by the blade. I counted the revolutions of this thing, and it's, it's gonna be spinning really quick. It's gonna spin um, 40 times per single revolution. So that's pretty darn fast. It's, real, it's really heavy duty. Nice, nice uh, rubber gasket on here. Putting a tire on a rim. Here's so the first. The bowl here I liked because it was one of the few that are actually transparent, and it's not thin plastic either. It's it's real, real. It's it's kind of flexible. It's not brittle. It's thick. There's no plastic at all. Everything is aluminum and metal, different metals. Um, this particular one has innovation to it. It has actually a knife blade on it, which most or all the others do not. The other ones have just this um, wire blade, sort of a weed whacker technology, you know. But they um, came up with this blade idea, which can be flipped and has a second sharp side and it can be sharpened as well. So, what you do, it's first time, so I know it's supposed to be able to hold over two OZs, but um, don't want to overload it here. But I like this one, um, well, I, I liked how um, it was described and how the people described it on Amazon. It's the only one that had five stars. The other ones came broken or broke right away because of plastic components. And I see no plastic components on this thing whatsoever. Let's see how this fits in here to the gear. Hopefully I got it. There it is, I sat down. All right, then you just have a steel crank here. So I'm just gonna have to guesstimate even the rate. It has a little arrow here to show which way it, it turns. So, okay, that was about 20 cranks there. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty trimmed up to me. I'm gonna go, uh, 20 is supposed to be like the minimum. Let's see here. Maybe I'll just go a few more for good measure and then. I think that was 10. So excited about my new toy here, losing track of stuff. Whoop. Forgot the lid comes off. And I've heard some people say on the other ones that you might have to go back and do a little hand trimming. But um, I think this is pretty much as good as it. Uh, are you able to come in close and do a. Uh, I could go like that because of the light. I don't know. Are you able to focus? Maybe not. If you're not, it's okay. But um, yeah, anyone would know how long it would take to trim all that. I don't even want to guesstimate. Well, well over an hour. And uh, let's see if we can pop this seal off. It's a real nice seal, like I said. That was all the trim that came off it. Yeah, buddy. Cut up real fine. Worked um, every bit as good as I had hoped. Better. So since I'm learning about this uh, iPower herbal bud trimmer here. I um, decided just to shoot it around for a second second round here. Got the stuff 
real, real, real close. It's gonna be unnecessary to uh, touch them up at all. Did a real good job. So my hat's off to this. I sincerely wish I would have bought this years ago. This thing, instead of um, instead of days of trimming, the hardest part's going to be removing the uh, fan leaves, cutting the buds off, put them in here. I think we're talking like an hour of trimming. 